Hello everyone and welcome to Brick Cats. Today I'm going to cover something a little bit different, but this is something I've been meaning to do for quite a while. And a couple of people recently have messaged me uh, asking about this thing I'm going to show you. And that is how I pretty easily move things from a BrickLink wanted list or an XML wanted list to pick a brick. And if you have been following my channel for a while, you'll notice that, especially recently, I have done this a lot, uh, recommending buying parts from Pick a Brick instead of BrickLink. And that's because the in, usually the single um, greatest cost reduction you can get comes from reducing the number of stores on BrickLink and therefore reducing the amount of shipping that you're paying. And LEGO is a great place to do that because they typically have a very large number of parts in stock. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use uh, something that BrickVault has recently uh, made available, and that is the ability to download a parts list without making a purchase. So this is really awesome, uh, and I'm really glad that Brick, uh, BrickVault has decided to do this. Uh, it didn't really make sense to me that on places like Rebrickable you could see the parts list ahead of time, um, but thankfully BrickVault has um, given us access. So uh, you download the parts list. So for demonstration purposes, I have put these all into a BrickLink uh, wanted list. And you can see I've called it X-Wing Demo. Uh, you can use this with basically any wanted list, and I'll show you how to get it from BrickLink over to this extension I'm about to show you. But um, BrickLink has a handy download feature right here. So and it will download to a XML file with the title of your wanted list. So if I click download, you'll see that I created X-Wing demo.xml. The extension I'm going to show you is called Brick Hunter. It is a free Google Chrome extension. And basically what this will allow you to do is uh, see which elements from a given wanted list are available from Pick a Brick. Over on the right here, I have my X-Wing demo parts list. And of course, this is straight from Brick Vault. I uploaded it according to the normal process. You know, want, upload, insert the XML, and then you validate it. Now to get this into a format that, uh, I mean, say that I want to make the substitutions I usually make over here, you could change out any of these parts, like if there's a different color or something like that, or like if I wanted to remove these astromech parts because I already have an R2D2, I can do that. So we will delete these. And for illustration purposes, I'm going to change this color. What color does this come in? Uh, let's change it to red. So I'm going to change this bar 1L with 1x1 round plate with hollow stud from black to red. Um, just again for demo purposes here. Great. So instead of the original 239 elements, we have 236. Now I can download this modified parts list, and uh, I click download here, and at the bottom you'll see the file download, it's just xwingdemo.xml, right here. Uh, you'll see at the top here there's a single parts beta if you wanted to buy single parts, but we're not going to use that. Um, so this kind of goes exactly in the order that you need. So first we are importing, so we can select a file, so now I have the X-Wing demo file that I just downloaded, and it's got a one there because I guess I was doing this earlier and I forgot to delete it. Then you click import, and up here you get a dialog that says parts list successfully created. Great. So now I come over to my parts list up here, and you can see I have X-Wing demo with a red, excuse me, a red shading, and 336 is the number of elements in this list. Click it, you can make changes here. You can you know, delete items. You can split the parts list. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Maybe this creates a different one. Let's see. Uh, yes, so that will move elements from one parts list to another. So say we don't need this one anyway. Again, this is just a demo. So if you scroll through here, this will be all of the elements on the wanted list from BrickLink. And um, you can make changes to quantities here. We can bump this up to 10. Let's see, is the 
Got bar 1L, yep, it's right here in red. So that's great. So now we go to download prices. And what this does is it will pull the Pickabrick database and put the price of each element next to uh, the list entry. And there's a little progress indicator up here. It takes a little bit. But you can see that the prices are filling. And you can see the current progress here. Okay, so this is finally done. Usually it takes about two or three minutes for larger um, wanted lists, but up here it gives you a summary. Um, Brick Hunter found 216 elements on Pick Brick, which is great. Now we go over to Shopping Cart, and it gives you again a summary the parts list, the uh, number of Pick a Brick elements here, the number of Bricklink elements here and not allocated. So from this screen, you can do two things. So first, I'm going to take a look at all the elements that were not available on Pick a Brick. And pretty understandable, like they never sell um, printed license pieces, I don't think. Uh, these flat silver wheels are very rare. The dark bluish gray uh, part 4733, that's the brick modified one by one with studs on four sides. I think they just don't have that color right now. And some of these other things are either out of stock or like these black 3L Technic pins aren't produced anymore. So that's all understandable. So these are the parts we're going to have to get from Bricklink. And to make this very easy, you can download. And this creates a file called wantedlist.xml. And I'll put that over into Bricklink in just a second here. So now let's go to the picker brick elements. Of course, you can do this in any order. And scrolling through the list, this is just a summary of all the parts that they found in Pick a Brick and the current price. So I'll try and find a good example here. Um, well, here's an example the other way. Uh, this light bluish gray uh, slope 45 with a print on it. This is 87 cents. I'm reasonably sure that this is probably less expensive on Bricklink used, but that's okay. And by contrast, let's see. This is the newer 2x6 tile, part 69729, and this is only 21 cents on Pick a Brick. It's probably 35, 40 in. Uh, actually, let's look that up. I'm sure there will be some. Well, actually, I'll do that later to compare. Anyway, this is the list of everything available from Pick a Brick. So to add this to your Pick a Brick cart, you click on Add Shopping Cart. It will say it needs an open lego.com tab, and it gives you a nice link. Then you can do try again. And again, you'll see a progress bar here as it adds everything to your pick a brick cart. So down at the bottom here, you can see that 1,271 pieces are in my cart and total of $121.29. So if you expand this, this is everything from Brick Hunter. And it's divided, uh, there's a summary down here. You can see the bestseller totals $52.94 and the standard comes to $68.35. Both uh, handling fees or service fees, they call them, are crossed out. They're waived because I'm at the $14 minimum. And since this order is over $35, once I add this to my bag, um, I would get free shipping as well. And when you add it to the bag, that's when tax is calculated based on your shipping address. So this is the short version, and you can stop here if you are just looking to uh, learn how to use Brick Hunter. It's fairly um, intuitive to, to learn, in my opinion, um, and it's a really handy tool. You don't have to hand jam in each individual element from the wanted list over here uh, by searching, you know, 73825, for example, 73825. You know, previously you'd have to go here, you'd have to find, you know, medium stone, or was this dark stone gray or something. And, you know, if these two colors look really similar in the graphic, maybe you pick light bluish gray by accident. Or um, sometimes you forget to adjust the quantity. So doing this by hand is just a huge pain in the butt. Um, but Brick Hunter makes that very easy. So now I'm going to go back over to Bricklink. I will upload a new wanted list. Oops. 
And I'll call this X-Wing Leftovers. So you can see that the cockpit is avid. Everything translates straight from Brick Hunter to Brick Link. So now if I just run the algorithm, This is giving me one, two, three, four stores and $27 ish. So I figure $6 with shipping and then a dollar for tax usually. So this is probably $28. Um, so looking about $56 on Bricklink. And then over here, $121.29, that's without tax. So if I add this to my bag, it'd probably be about $130 ish. Uh, so then the grand total, 130 plus. What would I say? 55? 56? So it's about $185 total. So now I have re-uploaded the original parts list directly from Brick Vault with no modifications. And I will do the algorithm. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stores and $194-ish. And so this will probably be about uh, $9 per store-ish or so, uh, just including tax. And there's five of them, so 9 times 45, or sorry, 9 times 5 is 45. 45 plus 194 is $239. So $239 versus $184 using Pegabrick uh, plus Bricklink. So very significant savings in this particular example. Um, as you may have seen from my uh, previous kind of pricing research, uh, savings can go up or down. Generally, the more you can, the more pieces in a model, the more you are able to save. Um, there are some exceptions for really for models that use really rare parts and everything like that. Uh, but in general, I found Brick Hunter to be very helpful in saving money. Now, the downsides from ordering from LEGO. The best seller elements usually come very fast. Uh, I live in Northern Virginia, and typically, I mean, the fastest I've ever gotten a best seller order has been three business days. So I placed the order, I think, on a Monday morning, and I had them in my mailbox on a Thursday morning, which is awesome. Uh, standard elements, they do warn you. Um, well, right now we're receiving, receiving lots of orders, so delivery from Denmark are taking longer than usual. Um, they, they say 40 business days. Uh, this can be longer, for sure. Um, I recently had an issue where I guess a bunch of pick a brick orders got stuck in customs because they forgot to check some box on the form or something, um, and that was well over two months to get to me. Uh, that was an order I placed in late January, and that just arrived not too long ago. Um, but occasionally this does go down. I think uh, they usually are pretty, or at least they update this pretty frequently um, as far as when things are taking longer. But 40 business days is a pretty good uh, marker. And you got to remember that business days means like the work week. So this is officially, you know, essentially two calendar months um, listed here. So that can be kind of a bummer. Um, for me, that's not such a big deal just because you know, I, I kind of do my parts research and then buy things. And then by the time a, a pick a brick standard shipment gets in, you know, maybe I'll have a better idea of what else I'm collecting parts for. But the short of it is that Brick Hunter is a really great tool to uh, help you source parts directly from Lego. It saves a ton of time. And as you can see from this example, this, this does or this can save you um, a bunch of money. Now, if you pair this with part substitutions for things that might be available from Pick a Brick, you can potentially save even more by eliminating stores from the leftover uh, wanted lists that you use or that you can download from Brick Hunter. Um, and you know, by reducing the um, number of rare elements with more common substitutions. So this has been my overview of Brick Hunter. The Brick Hunter extension uh, is available from the Chrome store. And yeah, I really highly recommend that if you're serious about um, buying Lego parts, if you're building mocks or anything like that, 
Um, you should look into this tool. This is probably a terrible overview because I did not script this out. This is just kind of something I have been meaning to do, uh, but hopefully you find it useful. And for this last part here, um, I've purposely held off doing this because I wanted to do this kind of live. And just to show you, um, you know, how much, how valuable I think this is, I'm going to donate some money to the development. I'm going to do $30 and I will donate with PayPal. So there you go, uh, Tobias Karth, whoever you are and wherever you are, uh, Brick Hunter is an amazing tool for people like me, and hopefully it will be amazing for people like you. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them below in the comments or post on the uh, community section of my channel. You can also shoot me a message through Instagram. Uh, and thank you very much to the couple of people who have messaged me, you know, asking me what my secret was uh, for not wasting a bunch of time on Pick a Brick. Um, who finally motivated me to make this video and uh, share this really great extension with all of you. Thank you again, and I hope to see you back next time.